and a lot depends on strong American leadership. When you take a look at Mars, you probably wouldn't think that it looks like a very nice place to live. The Martian apocalypse might have finally begun. I'm over at the National Geographic News. Bizarre Martian plumes discovered by amateur astronomers. Amateur astronomers have spotted two clouds rising from the Martian surface, and nobody knows how they can exist. Oh, I've heard. How much information that science tells us about our solar system can you verify 100% for yourself? Stay cool. Here he comes. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents. Seriously, bro. Dear NASA, could you go ahead and rejoice, party people? Thor News is back. Go ahead and celebrate. But occasionally attracts attention. Welcome to the Great Martian Apocalypse. Part 1. What is the apocalypse? I'm your host, Thor. I'm afraid I must deprogram a few of you. You see, humanity has been indoctrinated by science, religion, government, media, to believe that apocalypse means the end of the world, total destruction of Earth, the death of mankind, and nothing could be further from the truth. If you look over at Google, the apocalypse definition says, one, the complete final destruction of the world, especially as described in the biblical book of Revelation. Some people say science confirms that a global catastrophe will kill millions. <laughs> Interesting weather patterns here, and the five-day forecast. This just in. It's the apocalypse. Or the start of the end of days, the rapture, and then the apocalypse that would last a few months, and then in October, we're all kaput. The good news is, we're all still here. How to stay healthy during the impending apocalypse. Now, I'm a little bit concerned about my nutrition and health during the apocalypse, but before we get to that, can you tell me a little bit about Foodist? Yeah, Foodist is my new book. No. Those left behind. We're gonna take you home. Must battle an enemy that will not die. And so, without further ado, here it is. <laughs> that is not true. Christians have been taught that the world is going to end in a great, horrible fire. And they seem to skip the part where Christ returns for a thousand years of peace. So there's no need to worry about the end of Earth before we have a thousand years of peace. Okay? So that definition is bullshit. And it's a bullshit that feeds into the left-behind rapture fantasy that has been sold to the public. Apocalypse 2. An event involving destruction or damage on an awesome or catastrophic scale. Neither one of those are honest or true or being forthcoming. Because the true... Definition of apocalypse, Greek word, the uncovering, a disclosure of knowledge, a lifting of the veil, or a revelation. In religious contexts, that is what an apocalypse means. Please watch carefully to see how our knowledge expands. But if we do not find life on Mars today, it may mean we just looked in the wrong places, or searched with the wrong instruments or came at the wrong time. But if we do find life on Mars today, it will mean that life on Earth is not an isolated instance. An apocalypse means the truth is finally revealed to the people that all the lies and bullshit they have been feeding you for thousands and thousands of years is wiped out in the blink of an eye, like a thief in the night, baby. All the liars are exposed and the truth is shown and the truth is allowed to live love and breathe amen hallelujah so what is our martian apocalypse if you've been following thor news or even the modern state of space agencies and our own national space program you would know that in 1972 we landed back on earth from the moon and we don't plan to put another man into space 
on another moon or planet until 2030, which is a 58-year gap for doing cool stuff that involves humans in outer space. If that don't ring all your bells and whistles and red lights flashing, I don't know what will. I mean, the fact that we've been told we're not going back to the moon because it has no science or it's too expensive, and then the same space agency spends 21 years and $10 billion building a telescope that's, that's yet to go into orbit and work. You gotta wonder, what type of three-card money, crappy kabuki theater are you guys trying to pull over our eyes? I mean, you literally have to either have your head in the sand, be scared of the truth, to not understand the schadenfreude propaganda misinformation that is coming out for what it is. Does anybody remember when the Russian guy at the ISS said he found living algae outside of the ISS and that story was quickly buried? Well, here we are. Thank God for Scooby-Doo and his crew of amateur astronomers. If you're waiting for a government agency to give you the truth, I'm afraid you're going to be sorely disappointed. I'm over at the National Geographic News. Bizarre Martian plumes discovered by amateur astronomers. Amateur astronomers have spotted two clouds rising from the Martian surface, and nobody knows how they can exist. Oh, I'm pretty sure NASA knows. Pretty sure the ESA knows. India might even know now. Because remember, in September, India put up a India put a Mars orbiter around planet Mars. And NASA quickly signed them to a $400 billion deal. India quickly gave no more information from their orbiter. Now, my numbers may be off on the $400 billion deal, but considering whatever deal they signed is private information and not for the public to know, you can guess as much as I can. And some people might say, hey, how could they give them that much money if their budget is only $17 billion a month? Well, I guess you don't understand things, do you? So here we are. The Martian apocalypse might have finally begun. We might slowly begin to understand why NASA's only been focusing on Mars. Why NASA's only been putting robots around Mars. How much information that science tells us about our solar system can you verify 100% for yourself? How do you know you can't breathe in outer space? How do you know you can't breathe on Mars? How do you know there aren't cities on Mars? How do you know there's not life on Mars? How can you verify it? Many people are like, well, science can't lie. Science wouldn't lie. It's, it's a collective group. But as I've played before, JFK warned us about a giant infrastructure of liars. And so, hey, maybe we're here. And we're here now. The Martian apocalypse. We might be finding out the truth soon. And that is exciting. Because goddamn, slave masters, let my people go. It is time for a renaissance. It is time to let love rule. To be continued. I can riff on this subject all day, all night. Heck, maybe hang out. Sounds good. Oh, and another thing that's hilarious. So I tweeted the high rise, one of the orbiters over Mars, because today they released a photo of a rift feature within Dedalia Planium. And I said, hey, can one of your hundred Mars robots take a photo of the plumes, maybe? We've seen enough dirt, dude. Martian Apocalypse, high rise. You have been blocked from following high rise. So I guess asking them to show us photos of the plumes that amateur astronomers found is a blockable offense. They don't want questions, dude. Because they are literally above you. Even though you pay their salaries. Even though they were designed to inspire the country. So it's no mystery. So it's no coincidence that our country is falling apart, being ripped to shreds from the inside. And that the space agencies seem to love mocking us with smoke and mirrors. I'm sick of the lies. 100% sick of the lies. People will do and say anything for money. Joseph Goebbels would be proud, the Nazi propaganda master. If you tell a lie big enough, loud enough, long enough, people will believe it. Oh, but nobody can think about this because ISIS, ISIS, and Disney measles. ISIS, Disney measles. ISIS, Disney measles. Asterisk. <laughs> Seriously, bro. Papa's got a new bag of tricks. I just, well, I want Newton wants.
to reinforce stability and harmony in the civic world. Wouldn't that be nice? Hit the button, baby. Need to be a car in the ocean. Party dance time. Oh, and in case you didn't know, that's Venus.